In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a poodle. Poodles are very smart, they're hypoallergenic, and they can come in three different sizes, but they may not be best for you. And in this video, we're going to lay out seven reasons why the poodle may not be best for you and your family. So let's get started with the first reason. The first reason why a poodle may not be best for you is because of their grooming requirements. The great thing about a poodle is they do not shed, but depending on their coat type, they could have really wavy coat or very tight curls. And you don't want your dog to get matted, so it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you're brushing them regularly and you're getting them to the groomer. If their hair gets too long and too matted, they'll have to get completely shaved and it's uncomfortable for them. So it'll be up to you as the owner to stay on top of their grooming. They don't have fur like most dogs, instead they have hair more like humans. So if you don't want to do this or you're not up to the task, then a poodle definitely won't be best for you. But if you don't mind grooming them, staying on top of that schedule and getting them to the groomer to get regular cuts, then a poodle will be just fine. Number two reason a poodle may not be best for you is because of their exercise requirements. Poodles can be big dogs. If you get a standard poodle, they can be up to 80, 85 pounds. They're a big, strong dog that needs exercise. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you give them 30 minutes to an hour of exercise each day. And this dog is very smart. They don't want to just be let out in the backyard. They want to walk with you, play with you, be around you, and build the bond. So if you don't have the time, energy, or resources to give this dog the exercise that they need, they can be pretty destructive inside the home, get anxiety and a lot of pent up energy that just won't be good for you and your family. But if you can give them the exercise, they'll absolutely love it and they'll be a great dog for you and your family. The number three reason why a poodle may not be best for you is because they are very smart. So it'll be up to you as the owner to provide mental stimulation for this dog because they need to use their brain, they need a job, they need to be looking for their toys, they need to be active, going for car rides, making sure that their environment's always changing because they're incredibly smart and they wanna use their brain. But if you have them in the same spot and you're not really engaging with them, then poodles will really struggle. So if you wanna own a poodle, it'll be up to you to take them everywhere, do all kinds of things with them, make them use their brains because they want to and they're incredibly smart. Number four reason why a poodle may not be best for you is because they need an active family. This dog loves to be on the go. They love to be outside, walking, running, hiking, you name it, this dog can do it all. So they love to be with an active family. If you've got dogs, other cats, animals, it doesn't matter. This dog loves it all, loves kids. They're great with other people and kids. So if you wanna do something with a poodle, they're up for it. So if you don't have a lot of space or you're not very active, maybe a poodle won't be best for you because this is an incredibly smart dog that wants to be on the go, wants to be learning and seeing new things. So they'll do really well in an active home. The number five reason why a poodle may not be best for you is because they can have separation anxiety. This dog loves to be with their owners. They wanna be around their owners as much as possible. So if you're gone most of the day or you take long trips and you're just not gonna be around as much as you'd like, then a poodle may not be best for you. They love to be by their owners and if you go long periods of time without being around them, they can get anxiety and be destructive inside the home. So make sure you're around your poodle as much as you possibly can. If this is not possible for you, then maybe a poodle isn't best for you. Because like we keep saying, they're incredibly smart. They know their owner, they love and are super loyal to their owner. So if you don't have time for them, then a poodle just may not be best for you. The number six reason why a poodle may not be best for you is because they would like a friend. If you get one poodle, that usually means you end up getting two poodles because poodles are sociable with other dogs. They're incredibly smart. And like we said, they're active and love to have a friend around. This friend is great because they can keep each other busy, active, and wear each other out. So if you get one poodle, it's likely you may end up with two. So if this is something you don't want, you may look to another breed. But if you're looking for more dogs and more the merrier, then a poodle should be perfect. The number seven reason why a poodle may not be best for you is because they can be pretty loud. Poodles have been known to be barkers. They know what they want, they know when they wanna do it. So they'll bark and let you know as a reminder what they're up to. So if you want a quiet dog or a chill dog, a poodle may not be the best dog for you because poodles are active, smart, and they can be loud. 
these guys know what they want and it's a nice reminder for you as the owner but it can be annoying at times when this poodle is loud so if you're in an apartment or tight spaces and you just want a more quieter dog that's less active then you should look to another dog breed but if you don't mind your poodle reminding you when it's time to eat, go for a walk, and be active, then a poodle could be perfect. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the poodle and whether or not it's good for you and your family, and we'll see you on the next one.